In this video, we'll talk about the top websites which you can use to practice your interview skills to get your first software engineering job being a back-end or a front-end job. Now, this video will only deal with the technical aspect of uh, the interview pipeline. Uh, it will not deal with the behavioral interviews or the culture fit interviews. Uh, there will be another video which deals with uh, that those aspects of an interview pipeline. Uh, this particular one will only talk about the technical aspects which can help you to uh, get your next uh, software engineering job. Most of the information that uh, I provide or recommend in this video will only apply to entry level uh, software engineering jobs uh, for uh, students who are, uh, who are just going out sort of graduating college and having a hard time uh, finding a job uh, all thanks to COVID. But uh, I'll try my best to uh, sum up all the resources that uh, you can use to uh, practice or learn for your next uh, job. And if you'd like some help with your uh, resumes, then you can email me. The, my email is in the description below. And I can help you uh, with your resume, writing a cover letter and those initial steps, which uh, are a make or break for your uh, resume screening or for your interview step. So uh, let's get started. Uh, here I'll be talking about eight websites and one book which uh, you can refer to. Uh, you don't have to uh, go through all the websites. All you can do is choose one and you know just work with that. Or you can try all, choose one. Uh, you can uh, basically mix it up. So it's completely up to you how you want to use the resources. Uh, all I can do is tell you what each resource does and uh, whether uh, how it will actually help you find a job. So uh, the first thing which uh, we talk about is lead code. So you probably might be already doing lead code or uh, solving problems on lead code. So this is basically a website or a platform which helps you participate in contests, practice uh, algorithmic problems, database and OS questions. And it has everything that you need to uh, crack your next uh, technical interview. So I would say that if you just stick to lead code and uh, forget about everything else, uh, that should be more than enough. But we'll also look at some other websites which can help in different ways. So lead code is uh, on my top list where you can explore by topics, you can learn a particular topic uh, which you feel like. So if you feel that you are weak in binary search then you can just go inside the binary search explore card and do that. If you feel you are uh, weak at recursion then you got recursion 1 and 2 and I think the free uh, subscription for lead code is more than enough for your next interview. You just have to be uh, disciplined and you need to do deliberate practice. So this would be my top choice when you uh, want to uh, make sure that you are preparing well for your next upcoming interview. But uh, this uh, will help you mainly when you have an interview ready and you have to prepare for it. So this can be marked as both for long term learning and for short term uh, preparations as well. Now uh, the next website is HackerRank. So HackerRank uh, back in the days was only about uh, basic puzzles and contests but now they have actually expanded into multiple domains, certifications, competing jobs, all of that. So I would say that if you are a beginner in uh, who just got into college and starting his uh, computer science degree, then uh, you can just uh, lurk around HackerRank and see what they offer. So they have basic problem solving skills, uh, APIs, so they also teach you software engineering concepts. Uh, for example, REST APIs, and you also have uh, mock tests, all of that. So they, are, uh, they have tried to make it very easy for you to understand the basics of computer science at least in terms of what a job requires uh, with certifications. So I would not uh, say that you should completely depend on these certifications because uh, in the end certifications don't matter when it comes to a job. Uh, that is my opinion. But uh, you can definitely go around and see how uh, you can use these to help yourself get better at what you want to do. So if you think you want to uh, make sure that your functional programming skills are good or you want to practice then you can go on this part and do it and yeah choose by topic. So I would recommend this for uh, any college student who would like to you know uh, build up the skills. Uh, so next is Educative. So this is a, a relatively new website uh, which helps you understand uh, concepts and uh, interviews all of that. So this particularly is paid only or it has some free courses but uh, the paid ones are really really good uh, from what I've seen. But uh, the main uh, thing which I really like about Educative is that they use uh, both videos and uh, text based courses where you can learn at a higher pace and you can also uh, see what they're teaching. You can also see uh, what they're doing, how to uh, how to actually work with the problem. 
and the people who teach are really really good and really edu- uh, educated so i think this should be a go to if you can afford uh, the pricing which they have i think it's pretty um kind of costly but uh, if you would like to go for it then i think it's the best thing for uh, your short term interview preparations uh, let's say you're jumping uh, roles you're trying to negotiate uh, a few roles so i think educative would be a really great idea to prepare for your technical interviews next is a new uh, thing called as interviewing.io so uh, you probably might have seen their uh, youtube videos where they conduct mock interviews between two people and one being from a very nice fan job and the other who is preparing for it so this is basically only for mock interviews and uh, which can potentially lead to uh, real interviews with these companies so a pretty simple way of how it works and they are really really good at what they say so you can have really intensive practice and i think doing even like 5 or 10 of these uh, uh in a year should be more than enough to make sure that your skills are up to date and i would highly highly recommend this for anybody who would like to uh, you know uh, do mock interviews and mock interviews are a very 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 good way to uh, prepare for your upcoming interviews because uh, you will be in the interview setting and you will be forced to think uh, in pressure and i think that is one of the most important uh, points when it comes to interviewing so check it out uh, all the links for these websites will be in the description below and also if you would like to uh, have uh, get some help with your resume uh, then you can definitely email me on my email which is also in the description so next is hacker earth so hacker earth is a kind of different website compared to others uh, they don't target interview preparation directly but they give you challenges and hackathons and hiring challenges where you can actually participate in one and uh, you know get your job so i got uh, i got my first job through a hackathon uh, where we won the hackathon and then uh, the first prize was uh, the role so you can use the uh, the platform to definitely uh, uh, gauge your building skills how you can actually build a product work with a team uh, with the help of a hackathon or you can just go to the hiring challenges and then uh, see how it plays out definitely good for practice and real world uh, uh challenges uh, where you know you can actually get a job fairly straight forward way where you just compete with other people so yeah if you want uh, this way uh, if you feel this is more comfortable for you than uh, you know uh, doing 100 problems or 200 problems on lead codes then this, this is definitely something which you should take, check out uh, the next thing is geeks for geeks so you must have definitely come across geeks for geeks at least once in your uh, journey of computer science and programming Uh, this i think is just a go to place whenever you have any doubt or any problem uh, and you just google uh, it out and geeks geeks is the first uh, link that pops up so i think use it for the exact same reasons uh, they have made the website pretty uh, much like much better than it was before and it's pretty good so you can i think check out more things you can your courses jobs all of that but uh, i mainly use geeks for geeks whenever i have a a, 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 syn- a syntax doubt or like a concept doubt and then Uh, one blog page or a blog post from geeks for geeks helps me understand that uh, very straight forwardly so i think that is something which i use geeks for geeks for but yeah you can definitely go and check out uh, how they help you with other things as well so next is interview bit so this is uh, currently uh, very famous for skiller academy where uh, they try to get you a job as soon as possible and then uh, take a chunk of your salary later on as a fee Uh, i am still very dicey about how uh, they go about it so i would not recommend that but i would definitely recommend their platform for learning how to program uh, system design databases uh, this they also help you find a new job where you can uh, update your resume you can uh, wait for matching options and they try to gamify the process of job hunting but it is a uh, kind of tough and i would recommend this for uh, people who would like to shift when they have like a year or two of experience i think they this would help them more than entry level people so i'm just putting this out there and if you'd like to see then definitely go for it next i think is a very famous website called as algo algo expert and i was very skeptical about them before since they just have like a very a, f- a few number of problems uh, which you know only one fair problems which you can practice but uh, the questions are pretty solid and they help you understand uh, the basic and the fundamentals really well and it is also very cheap compared to the other Uh, premium subscriptions and i think that is the best part about our expo which is 50 dollars for a year so 
uh, if you would like to chuck your Netflix or your Prime subscription and just go for this, then that would really, really help you with your interviews. And yeah, it is legit. It is good. So definitely check it out. Uh, the last but not the least here is the Bible or the Holy Grail of programming interviews, uh, City CI. Uh, they have been other books as well, but I think this still does not beat the rest. So uh, they have around 189 problems and I think these 189 problems should be more than enough for your entry level jobs. Just make sure that you do them diligently and deliberately and I think this will be more than enough to crack your next interview. But if you think that this book is a bit intimidating, then definitely you have all these resources to help you. So uh, last but not the least, another thing which I wanted to add uh, was uh, a book for the fun of learning. So grokking up, grokking algorithms is another book. So if you just want to learn uh, how algorithms work in a very straightforward manner, I would recommend this book, uh, which will help you understand algorithms very 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 easily and uh, it is a very very f uh, I would say a funny a really fun book uh, to go through and it will be like a very good introduction to what you are stepping in so if you are uh, in 11th or 12th grade and you're just stepping into college and you want to you know get a head start about computer computer science and programming I think this would be the best book for you uh, to start with uh, very simple illustrations it uh, does require a bit of programming experience, but I think you can just, you know, get that by a month's preparation. So yeah, these were all the websites which I think uh, you can use to make sure that you have uh, all the resources you need for your next interview preparation job. However, uh, this is not it. Uh, this definitely does not help, uh, but you have to go through and practice and, you know, uh, give time into your interview preparation. But uh, once you choose your uh, platform, uh, any one of them or two of them, and then just keep uh, practicing, keep iterating, keep you know, uh, keep learning and you know, enjoying the process uh, the entire way. I think it should be more than enough to get your next job. So yeah, this was uh, the information that I wanted to provide today. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.